I thought I'd show you how you make a jam jar pulse jet engine, which isn't difficult. I have here a set of cane cutters I bought, Silver Line brand from um, Tool Station uh, for £15.11. pence. Cheaper ones are available, but I like this set. You can, if you look on eBay and search for step drills, uh, you'll find them. Um, I'm going to use this one. We're going to, we're going to make a hole in the jar and then I'm going to make it gradually bigger until we get the jet fired up. Right, so let's start with a... Right, a very small hole. Try that, see if that works. I put a little bit of mess in the jar. Now I think the right size hold is about 15 millimeters, but I haven't actually tried any other sizes. So let's give it a see if that does anything. Cool. <laughs> That's just mad. Let's try that again. It doesn't pulse, but it does something fairly crazy. Whoa! You see all that mess go flying everywhere. Right. Let's make that hole a bit bigger. Mess everywhere in that jar. Right. We are currently... Let's go up two steps. This is going up in 30 seconds of an inch. There's two steps. Right, now we've got a hole that's the size that is. That is just under five minutes of an inch, because this is an imperial one. Starting to uh, do its thing, a little bit more mess in there. There's a little bit of mess on that lid. Incidentally, the idea of a pulse jet is, well, the idea of this, the jam jar pulse jet, is to just demonstrate the principle of a pulse jet. But you, they do generate a little bit of thrust, which I will do in another video. Right, let's go up another three steps. Almost to the top, which is just under half an inch. So that'll be about 10 millimetres. Okay. 
is getting them. to the bigger cam drill. Right. So we're going to go up from half inch to nine sixteenths. Take it up one more, so that'll be 916 for five eight for the next. That's still on fire, it's burning the eyebrows off. That lid back on, start with the box. Right. You have to be careful with maths because in the light you can't see the flame. I think that hump is now too big. So that seems to be about, roughly speaking, the ideal hole size is 9 sixteenths. But the Passata jar works a whole bunch better. And you'd have seen that in a previous video. So 9 sixteenths seems to be the best size. Right. Hopefully you found that useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.